Well, they say it was even writing villains. You know, they have reasons that seem perfectly justified to oh, them yeah. why they do what they do, and it, it, it's not, they don't maybe think that they're bad. Right. One of the best pieces of advice I got that served me as a writer, but it was actually acting advice. And this came from Cliff Osman, uh, was my acting coach. And he said, he said he had never seen a decent portrayal of Hitler because the, the, the person so vilified by society that no actor had ever played him from a true place. He was always a villain. And he said, you know who didn't think Hitler was a villain? Hitler. Hitler didn't think he was a villain at all. Hitler thought he was doing amazing things for this race of people. And he said, because of that, you don't get a real honest portrayal. He said, you cannot judge your character. In fact, you have to think of yourself as your character's attorney. Oh, wow. You have to plead your case or the case of the character to the audience. You can't do that if you're judging the character. Um, and I took that with acting and I also took that into my writing as well. You know, everybody is coming from a place where they think they're doing the right thing. Right. You know, so that's, I think that's really important actually when you're developing characters. Because the minute you judge character, you've got a two dimensional character. You know, you've got a flat, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I know this guy's story. He's the bad guy or he's the good guy, whatever it is. Even good characters do bad things and right. think they're justified for and it. And that's the thing. It's that the complexity of life, right. you know, no one's all bad or all good. 